The Logos Media Tool lets you discover meaningful illustrations and create stunning slides for powerful communication. Search for media related to a text or topic. Use the Media Finder to input exactly what you're looking for, or use the filter options to the left to discover media related to a reference, biblical person, place, or thing. Or convert quotes into verse art or author slides. Let's imagine you're studying the Book of Acts and you come to Acts 19 where we find a number of interesting historical facts about the city of Ephesus. There was a temple in the city dedicated to the goddess Artemis, a grand theater, and shrines made in the likeness of Artemis were in high demand. Without knowing exactly what we're looking for, Logos' media tool lets us look for images related to the city of Ephesus and then refine our search using the helpful filter options. To start our search, open Tools, select the Media Tool, and make sure Find Media is selected. Then search for the city of Ephesus using the search bar. Well over 500 images of the remains of ancient Ephesus appear in the browser. And if I wanted, I could look through them from start to finish and discover all types of media connected to this ancient city, like images by Barry Beitzel or David De Silva, biblical people such as Artemis or Caesar Augustus, and biblical things. But since I know that Acts 19 mentioned the theater, the temple dedicated to the goddess Artemis, and a man named Demetrius who made shrines in the likeness of Artemis, I can sort by any of these terms on the panel to the left. As I scroll down to biblical things, I find the theater in Ephesus. By selecting this option, I'm able to find the images of the theater, an artistic reconstruction of what the theater might have looked like completed, and a video walkthrough of this ancient site. These images and videos help us better visualize the scene in Acts where Paul tries to push through the crowds to enter the area where his fellow brothers were being accused. We can clear our search for the theater and look at other biblical things, such as the pagan temple. Here we find the remains of the temple dedicated to Artemis, as well as an image of a bronze figure of this pagan god. When I click on the image of Artemis, I learn that statuettes like this and other artwork depicting the goddess Artemis were a crucial source of business for metalworkers and other craftsmen in Ephesus. Now that I've found images of the theater, the temple dedicated to Artemis, and a bronze figure of Artemis, I can automatically add them to my sermon or share them with Proclaim, PowerPoint, or a social media platform. As you continue your study, you are bound to come across a favorite quote, like here in N.T. Wright's Acts for Everyone, where he pinpoints the gravity of Paul's situation and the power of the gospel. Simply highlight the quote you want, right-click, and choose Visual Copy. This action automatically converts the quote to an author slide, which you can once again use in your sermon or share on social media. You can locate beautiful verse artwork in the same way. Turn to the passage you want, right-click the verse, and choose Visual Copy. With this action, Logos automatically tracks down media related to this text. Choose from custom design graphics like the one displayed on my screen, or create your own slide using one of the Logos templates. So whether you're looking for accurate illustrations, thought-provoking quotes, or beautiful verse art, the Logos Media Tool lets you find the right media for powerful communication.